Chapati, Samosa or Shingara is one of the most popular combination that Bengalis enjoy as evening snack over Ada. And Ada is a casual, friendly chat. Hi and salam alaikum. This is Rakia from Rakia's Kitchen. If you are here for the first time, please do subscribe and hit the bell button to have all the notifications from our channel. Singara o Samosa is has one of the highly demanding snack recipe during Ramadan days. And today I'm gonna continue with you from my previous video. This is a subcontinent iftar and I'm gonna start with lentil spinach soup. It's super healthy, super delicious and super super easy to make. So let's get started guys and I'm gonna take a cooking pot. I pour some vegetable oil, cumin seed, garlic and onion and I'm gonna saute everything together for two to three minutes until I have that nice aroma coming from all this mix or combination. I have three kind of lentil. You can use only one if you want or you can use three of them because they give really nice taste. I have the red, I have the yellow and I have the small yellow. I add salt, chili powder and uh, turmeric powder and a little bit of curry powder. This is optional, the curry powder. If you want to add it, you can. If you don't want, you can skip it. So I add enough water to cook all the lentil. Leave it to cook for about, um, yeah, about 30 minutes and come back to it. So this is our lentil is almost done. In this step is like 90% done and I'm gonna add my spinach. Anyway, you have a fresh spinach, you can cut it like medium pieces or small pieces. I had some baby spinach and I had some frozen spinach. So I mix both to add it to my soup. Or if you have just frozen, you can use frozen. There is no problem in that. And I'm gonna leave it to cook for 10 minutes. After that, my soup is ready, it's done. If you want to take uh, like thick soup, it's up to you guys and if you want it runny juicy you can add a little bit of water and in this stage taste your salt and taste your spice if you need any more so this is my soup ready and i serve it and i garnish it on the top with some fried garlic and fried cumin seed in a little bit of olive oil that's it it's super easy i told you guys it's really healthy and leftover you can taste it it's very delicious the next day if you have some of course left <laughs> so now we're gonna jump to our sambusa or shingara i love the shingara it's really nice crispy delicious so let's get started guys to make this shingara i have a cooking uh, or frying pan with a little bit of vegetable oil. I have a little bit of uh, cumin seed, fennel seed, uh, fenugreek seed, and mustard seed. This you can buy it mixed or you can mix it at home or you can skip it. You just use the cumin seed if you don't have it. So I have onion, diced onion, garlic paste, ginger paste, and I saute everything together until I have that nice aroma coming from the mix. I add my minced beef. You can use minced lamb, but I prefer to use minced beef. It's more um, tastier. It's going well with this singer. I have different spices here. Cumin powder, um, ca uh, cumin powder, coriander powder, chili powder. I have uh, black uh, salt. If you don't have it, you can skip it. You can use just normal salt. And... For all these things, I'm going to leave it in the description box. You can check it out later, guys. For those spices, the, the veggies I used, everything it will be in the description box. So I mix everything. I add my peas and I add the potatoes to cubes. And I will leave it to cook for about 10 minutes. I add a little bit of water and I cover it and let it simmer for 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes pass, of course, I need to stir and check my spices level, 
the salt of course and if the potato cooked or not yet so when you see your potato is cooked just start with your spatula to mash it or smash it a little bit to have that thickness from the from the starch in the in the potato that's the way how they make it in bangladesh so i have my filling ready i will leave it aside to cool down now we're gonna jump to the pastry or to the dough i have flour a black seed if you don't have black seed you can use cumin seed have a little bit of uh, salt and some a uh, little bit of ghee or oil you can use otherwise ghee or oil if you don't have ghee skip it and use oil like me so mix everything until until you have that sandy texture then you add your water to have a nice dough leave it aside to rest for about 20 minutes and come back to it after 20 minutes I cut my dough into small ball shape the same size and I cover it to don't dry up then I'm gonna start to flatten the dough with the pin roll and to make the the shape and this shingara by the way guys it's really super easy to make if you prepare like if you want if you want to make it easy for yourself prepare the dough in advance and prepare the uh, the filling in advance then make it the next day if you don't want to have that like long process and you are busy with your kids or your work or with uh, with your love anyway so I flattened the dough like this like a um, rectangle but I have like uh, um, it's like a long shape there is no, is no it's like an oval so i cut in the middle and i have a little bit of water i have my feeling if you can see guys i did add a little bit of coriander fresh coriander to have like that nice aroma so i start folding my shingara as you can see i fold the the sides then i glue it with a little bit of oil of, oh, sorry of water then i gonna fold the other one to make like pyramid shape so i'm and i press with my finger and the video you can see it's easy to fold and they have a nice pyramid shape so make another one to to see how i make it then grab it like a cone you hold it like you're holding a corn then be generous with your filling then fold back the other side to cover it and press of course apply some water so that make the dough stick to each other like a glue and here we go guys it's not the the super perfect chingara patty chingara <laughs> anyway <laughs> so after finishing all my chingara i put it aside until i have the the oil bath or where i'm gonna fry it and if you want to uh frozen just put the tray like this in the freezer and when it's frozen just put it in the zip bag and leave it in the ear freezer for two weeks maximum so I'm gonna fry it here, the frying, the way how they fry the shingara, they fry it in medium to low heat because we have a part of the shingara have a thick dough. So we need to fry it gently and slowly to cook all the dough inside until we have that golden color, uh, nice golden color for the shingara, then we take it off the oil and put it aside so that's it as you can see here i have a nice color so i'm gonna serve it now this is the time to serve 
and this is my lovely shingara as you can see it's really delicious i like it honestly guys it this is this was the like the the one we we did enjoy a lot for me and my husband and there is a lot of recipe you can make with shingara just eat it like this you can mix it with other things i'm gonna share it with you inshallah soon and you will see how that tastes it's really incredible so guys this is our shingara i i highly recommend to try it it's really a different taste different uh flavor to your ramadan table and especially the middle east the uh, north africa and other country the you don't have this kind of food available there you can make it at home and now i need to describe this all the table the green water is just water with the uh, with uh, some uh, i forget the name <laughs> uh, cardamom syrup and i have the juice is the uh, mango lasse but i use banana so i made banana lasse i'm gonna leave in the description box the recipe for mango lassi just skip the mango and uh, put uh, the banana so and i highly recommend to try this uh, uh, pumpkin roast pumpkin just fry pumpkin sorry on a pan it's very delicious and very healthy and easy and that was my table and this tea i did i did share it with you guys before the tea and I'm gonna leave it in the description box. You can check it out later. This was our subcontinent iftar for Ramadan. You can try it and share it with your friend and your family. And please, this is the time to say to you, I hope you enjoy my video. And if you do, give it thumbs up and share, like, subscribe for a minute.